Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Hi. Hi, people. I gotta update the follower goal. Oh my god. Hi. I'm back from the void. Hello, hello. streaming so much oh whoa hi ma'am thank you for uh the jump scare i was trying to talk to my chat oh my gosh hi my god i'm back <laughs> it was an internet issue all along everyone was gaslighting me telling me that it was a computer problem but no it was the internet and now it's fixed and now i'm back i'm back baby we back we back i'm free i've missed i was like i keep dropping out of discord calls i can't stream i can't go on minecraft servers i'm like oh but now i'm free i'm back Woo. <laughs> and it's crazy that it all gets fixed right before i move I'm literally moving in a couple days. <laughs> I'm like, well, I guess it would have been solved eventually. But uh, yeah, I'm moving. No more screaming children in the background. <laughs> uh, let me fix this. Good, um, yeah. Oh jeez, that was not what I was trying to move. Yeah. Oh man, I all I've been thinking about for so long is like I want to stream. I want to stream. No, I can't. I haven't. I was gonna play more investigations, but I only like playing that with a controller because it's so much. It's a visual novel, so it's so much just clicking, and it's annoying to do on a keyboard. Um, but I my controller is at my new place. So I can't, I'm like, well, I'll have to grab that later when I go over. Um. <laughs> but we could play some Slay the Princess, which hasn't been played since May 20th, 2024. Okay, it hasn't been played since May. Awesome. I don't even know. Why did we leave off here? <laughs> Why did I do this? I don't even remember what's happening. Why are you even here? Just making sure you finish the job or what? Okay, I don't even know what kind of route we we're going down. Slay the princess harder. <laughs> yeah. You swing at the princess once more and once more your blade cuts through nothing as she disappears. Dang. We tried, gang. We tried. Really? <laughs> Her voice chides from elsewhere in the room. You whirl around, finding her hovering between you and the basement stairs, Ooh. looking you over with grim disappointment. Not grim disappointment, lady. I'm so sorry. I, I just got here. I'm sorry for stabbing you. It's been a couple months. She draws in close. Oh. Why is Valentine by God's be by God's I was willing to ignore everything oh. you did to me so we could get out of here. I don't believe her. Together. I don't believe you. Lady, I don't believe All you. All I ever wanted was to leave this place. All I ever wanted was to find a way back home. Okay. Wherever home is. Girl. Her eyes turn from wells of sorrow to pits of wrath as she stares into you. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> that actually just scared me a bit. <laughs> um, lady, your face. Oh, I'm holding the knife. She forces her hand into your chest. Oh. And then, yes, nothing happens. Oh. Are you sure about that? So something should have happened, and yet it didn't. We're fine. Okay. I don't think so. I have a feeling we're going to die. Ooh. No. <laughs> okay. 
Well, she didn't miss me. Sorry. You can't be sure if you first hear or feel what happens next, but it is over before you can fully conceptualize what it is. The horrific splinter, oh, ew. the squelching of organs, the rending of tissue, an icy, numbing pain. Awesome. Glad we came back to this. I'm done asking. The next time I see you, I'm taking everything I owed. Starting with your body. Okay. If you don't choose to give me my freedom, I'll just have to make you give it to me. Uh. Okay. Sure. You can have it. I don't. I. I you know. I probably deserve this. If she's making us dead, we should return. What did I walk in on? <laughs> uh. <laughs> I, to be honest, I don't even know. <laughs> Oh, slay her or die? Yeah, I'll slay her. You swing your blade oh. towards her briefly. I thought it was gonna work throat. this time. It connects. <laughs> A gash widens across her neck, glowing ectoplasm leaking from the wound. Yummy. But it's too little. <gasps> ah! In her hand, she got my heart. Her, she clutches your still beating heart. Oh. It thumps, unsettling. Girl. Let's go. I got a stream. Did we get her? I'm I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> Even if we didn't, we've given her something to remember. Okay. See you soon, Chandler. Okay. Bye, sweetie. Take care of my heart. Kisses. Wishes. Oh. <gasps> As she crushes your precious organ in her <gasps> hand, everything goes dark, and you die. Awesome. Chapter three, The Wraith. Ooh. You're on a path in the woods. Oh. And here we go again. Off to slay her again. I, this path is looking real nice. The deck's stacked, isn't it? We kill her, we start again. She kills us as a goddamn ghost. We start again. <laughs> the voice of the cheated. We've been running circles just for the sake of it. Come on. Let's not give in to all that misery just yet. There's got to be. Oh, I love the visuals of this game There's so much. There's got to be a right answer. Yeah. And what if there isn't? Aren't you listening to me? What if all of this was rigged from the start? Oh, damn. That's ridiculous. There'd be no point in all this if it was just some kind of... Ooh, this is getting existential. ...busy work. I think that's exactly what it is. The powers that be, seeing how many ways they the can pass with us. <laughs> the paths. Maybe it's all some kind of sick joke to them. <laughs> that emo is adorable. <laughs> that is... <laughs> oh, your emotes are incredible. I love them. <laughs> Wouldn't that get, I don't know, boring? Okay, so you've already been here. Twice, even. Great. <laughs> then let me poke a few holes in your depressing little theory. Uh-huh. Nobody here is screwing with you, and I can't imagine any scenario where you would have started over after slaying the princess. Sure, Mr. Narrator, sure. Well, we didn't have to start over. We killed ourselves. And why, pray <laughs> tell, did you do that? <laughs> did, did we? Because she kind of like ripped out her heart, man. Because you decided to foist an infinite tedium on us. That doesn't sound like me. If I'd had everything my way, you would have effortlessly slain the princess, oh, saved yeah, I'm the sure. world, and been given your happy ending. Mm-hmm. Of course. The ending was the tedium. You locked us in a cabin and sent that cabin to an endless void, and then you told us you oh. we were happy. I th okay, I think I remember that. Well, were you happy? No. Of course we weren't happy. That's why we killed ourselves. Oh, it was I awful. remember that. Like, you have to get, like, the actual emotes for my VTuber model. Oh, that's cool. It Sick. Was boring. <laughs> it was bullshit. <laughs> so you killed yourself. <laughs> Listen, narrator, sometimes you can <laughs> And then she killed us. Yeah. Even though she was already dead. <laughs> this is all fake. All fake. Okay, let's try to get back on track. 
You're real. Mm -hmm. The princess is real. The okay. world is real. Sure. The people in the world are real. Of course. And the danger she poses to all of them is also, quite unfortunately, real. Okay. Whatever you did the first time, it sounds like it almost worked. So how about you give it one last? Yeah, time? let's go. Let's go because Slayer again. Himself seems to undo all the good you almost managed to accomplish. For now, I just temporarily use anime characters. Uh, well, my character, uh, my character's costume. Nice. All this standing around and talking is boring. Let's, <laughs> Let's go. Let's go kill her. Maybe we'll kill her again. <laughs> Maybe we won't. Uh, Matthew, I'm out clubbing, but <laughs> well, have fun clubbing, Matt. Have fun clubbing. Thank you for the prod. Thank you for the sub. Was 10 months subscriber, tier one. Have fun clubbing, Matt. Happy to see you. I'm back. There's something else we haven't tried. Turn around and leave. Yeah, okay. You have already committed to my completion. Oh. You cannot go further astray. Fine. Whatever. Okay. What happens if we don't go to the cabin? Well, we, we've killed we've killed her and been killed by her. And now that those things have gone well for us, if we're going to fall through the sleep forever, eventually we're going to let her out. We might as well do it now. You're making a dizzying amount of assumptions. <laughs> Your perceived reality looping twice before does not mean it will continue to do so forever. Okay. But... Those little voices have already drawn attention to the fact that even the path is different. The world itself is at a tipping point. Know that there is always a choice. Even if you were stuck in an is infinite there? loop, there's no reason to assume that the mere there nature are of the no infinite choices. would force you to make any specific Your choice. choices don't matter. You do have free will, as much as things would be easier if you didn't. And you can just <laughs> hey. keep making the correct choice forever, never deviating. How convenient. Everything always comes back to what you want us to do. I'm sick of him. Makes me want to end the world out of spite. <laughs> Let's do it, voices that cheated. Let's end the world. All right, whatever. Let's just go. You continue down the path towards the cabin. Awesome. It isn't long before you're steps away from your destination. I don't think you need any words of warning. I think you know what's in there, and despite your protestations, I think you know what you need to do. Yes. The more he talks, the more <laughs> I'm interested in setting her free. Okay, voices are cheated. I got you. Whatever. You don't want to listen to me? Do it then. Let her out. See what I care. It sounds like somebody's about to crack. Oh. Are you trying to use reverse psychology on me, or have you just given up? There's obviously no point in trying to reason with you right now, especially with all these clowns offering up their useless advice. Honestly, it seems like the more I try and talk sense into you, mm -hmm. the more single-minded they get about letting her out. So yes, I'm done trying to argue. Awesome. Would you look at that? We're, We're the are. best. Take it however you will. All right, let's go into the cabin. Let's see how it looks this time. The interior of the cabin Ooh. is long and dark, a single narrow oh, hallway mirror. stretching far into the distance. Curtains billow out from tall windows on either side, obscuring the path forward, fluttering helplessly as opposing gusts of wind rush into the building, clashing and joining and driving everything forward. The only furniture of note is... Hmm. That's strange. He's either gonna... S no I don't think he's gonna notice the mirror, because he's never noticed the mirror before. I think, uh... I think he's just gonna say there's no furniture. What's strange? Is it the mirror? Yeah, he's... he's the mirror? Yeah. <laughs> no, there isn't a mirror. What's strange is that there isn't much of anything in here at all, aside from oh, the Oh, we don't have the blade. There's supposed to be a pristine blade. Why isn't there a pristine blade? Great. Something else has been taken away from us. I suppose the only way to go is forward. So forward we will go. Mm. Blade or not, it doesn't really matter, does it? Oh, doesn't really matter. 
Let's pretend there is a mirror at the end of the hallway and that right now and that right now we can't see behind it. What's there? What's behind it? <laughs> not asking what's at the end of the hallway, it's the way to the basement. Okay. The way to the basement. Don't you mean door? Oh. Is there no door? No, I didn't say door. Because there isn't a door, it's just an opening. Oh, that's interesting. What are the odds she's waiting for us right behind it? If I were running a bullshit factory, <laughs> it's what I'd do. <laughs> Let me assure you that there's nothing there. Nothing is going to jump out at you, and certainly not the princess. The princess is in the basement. Okay. You can't see the mirror. The knife is gone, defying his expectations. Who the hell is calling the shots here? Mm. Nobody is calling the shots. That's how reality works. All right, let's go to the mirror. You slowly make your way oh. towards the gaping maw that awaits you. Your fraying nerves buzz with trepidation. Boy, be quiet. Raising your <laughs> trying to get to the mirror. Gently pushes you forward towards the darkness uh -oh. at the end of the hallway. You can't shake the feeling that you're being watched. Weren't you the one just telling us that she, that the princess isn't going to jump out at us? We've always been watched. You're watching us right now. That's Sometimes fair. That's actually really valid. Stronger than others. I feel like you're trying to put us on. You stop oh. as you reach the end of the hallway. I presume in front of whatever mirror isn't actually there. Okay, wipe it clean. Here we go. You reach your arm oh. forward into the pitch black of the opening. Ooh. Nothing. <laughs> it's like this place read our mind. Mess <laughs> with us. What you looking at? Ah. Staring into the void, thinking about what it'd be like to die again. I know exactly how you feel. Oh, she's she's scary. Shit. Where is she? You feel something long and frigid coil around your ankle. Oh no. Your heart skips a beat, standing in muted shock for one long, frozen moment. And then it, she, the princess, constricts. Oh. Your bones oh. snap. Icy pain radiates up from the break, a deep cold flooding your veins as your legs, numb with the shock of it, collapse, and you collapse with them. Oh. Oh my god. You're met with a terrifying Whoa. visage of the princess. Her hand grips your leg in a steel Oh, that's vice, horrifying. Her grin carved jagged from ear to ear, crowded with far too many long and crooked teeth. Dude, that is horrifying. Oh my god. Do you know how high it feels? I gave you a path to forgiveness. I gave you a chance to make things right. I'm sorry. I thought maybe you'd see what you've done and feel remorseful. Maybe try to make it up to me. Girl, I'm so but sorry what happened in my past life. I was a, I was a different man back in May. And over and over. Even after I ripped your heart out, you still cut me. Uh. And for what? I didn't go anywhere. You didn't banish me. I'm right back here with you. A little better, a little worse. Uh... Well, maybe a lot worse. Okay. So, here's how ah. I'm going to take your body, and I'm going to walk it out of here. Hi, Raiders. Awkward time. Uh, our body is being stolen. Thank you for the raid. Oh god, she broke her foot. Completely helpless. Just like you left me. Oh my god. I say we let her do it. It's something different. Oh, our poor little footsie. Do we even have a choice? Or a bird footsie. Do we even have a choice? I think we discussed this earlier. You always have a choice. You wait. But not now. There isn't a blade this time. Oh yeah. Exactly. Just kick her. Just kick her. Isn't a blade. Just kick her. <laughs> you just get. You got some like talents. Just kick her. Well, unless you have any specific ideas. 
I think my name's the only one that counts. What? What is your... Is your, is your thing to, for us to just die? Uh, look, we're even now. I killed you and then you killed me. Water under the bridge, right? I'm a victim in all this too, you know? Oh, struggle. That's fine. I actually came here to free you. Do you need to take my body? Can I just open the door for you? She looks friendly. She, she's thriving. She's thriving. I don't think you felt the magnitude of hatred that sits between us. What? More trust than I thought I had. Maybe give her a chance. Yeah, you know, yeah. Oh, we're past the point of compromise. I'm taking your body, and there's nothing you can do to stop me. Girl, there's this thing, it's called consent. Okay, fine, just do it. Oh, the dialogue changed. And you think that's even? How adorable. Uh, yeah. But I think you forgot about the part where you tried killing me again. That is fair, I did try doing that. If I were you, I would just want to get it over with. You've lost your chance to call the shots. There's no going back to fix it now. You can either look on in horror or celebrate my freedom. Uh -huh. But either way, you're about to become a passenger. Enough talking. We'll have plenty of time for chit chat once this place is far behind us. Alright, let's go. Let's go. My, my body is yours. Oh my god. The floor of the long hallway is the rest of the princess's body emerges. Her proportions all wrong. Ew. bent and curling, moving in ways that defy your understanding. Her torso Hi. stretches until her face is practically touching yours. Hi, girly. Her neck cracking all the time. She twists to look at you from a fresh angle. Are you sure you can't do anything to help us? Can't you, like, manifest a rock right on top of her head? And crush you along with her? Yeah. Not that I even can manifest a rock. <laughs> Besides, I thought you all wanted to free the princess. Oh, well, just let her go. You know what? She, she, she can have it. Not like this. You don't even have a weapon. So I'm afraid you're out of luck, which unfortunately means that I... We could still kick her. I kick her. We got one free foot. Two. And whose fault is it there isn't a weapon here? Yours, I assume. They're supposed to what? be a pristine blade. Whatever you did in those previous lives of yours, you really messed up. Okay. Shut up. Are you seriously trying to blame this on us? Oh. Your vision fades oh. as she tears open the awesome. membrane of your soul. That was nice. Oh. You're awake. Eyes once again fixed on the long hallway, your vision swimming as the princess's command reverberates inside your skull. Her voice is all-encompassing. You feel wrong. It's so cramped in here. Like there's some sort of growth trying to push us all out. Ew. I know. You rise to your feet, though the pain in your ankle is blinding. Your body slumps against the wall, desperately leaning into it for support. Ugh. There's another option, you know. This is still going? I thought it was just gonna end there. I thought it was just gonna end. Oh. Don't help either of them. Flip the table. There's no table. <laughs> Where the mirror was. I don't think it goes anywhere. <laughs> Let's throw ourselves into the abyss. Awesome, I love the abyss. You now. Your body, still slumped against the wall, trapped between the princess's overwhelming will and the blinding pain of your splintered ankle, takes an excruciating step towards the cabin door. The movement is stiff, your body reduced to a marionette pulled reluctantly along by your strings. Mm. Girl, can you, like, get out of the water? <laughs> yeah, that's all right. Yeah, let's go in the abyss. In a single moment of overwhelming willpower, you tear your body from the wall and hurl it towards the gaping abyss. I love a good abyss. 
capillaries burst and muscle fibers tear yeah. as you and the princess struggle over the reins of your body. One foot planted firmly on the edge where the floor ends, and the nothing begins. It's unquestionable that her reserves are greater than yours, but fortunately for you, the distance you have to cover is far shorter. Enough is enough. I'm tired of us always losing. That's so valid. It's Voice of the Cheetahs. A step away. You throw everything you have against Ooh, her and manage the Exorcist for one Three moment to overpower the princess's hold on your body. That was all you needed. Your foot slips a few inches, and you collapse forward. Let's go, Abyss. Darkness swallowing you whole. I'm sorry. I'm pretty sure I loved you in another life. Her thought slips through you, unheeded, as you fall, and fall, and fall. What an end. But at least it's ours. <laughs> an empire of frigid nothing. I don't think this qualifies as saving the world, but... At least you didn't ruin it. Thanks, narrator. What happens this is now? such a jolly game. Sounds like she's having a fun time. But I want to know what he thinks happens now. Oh, and why is that? You and you and you. That's funny. <laughs> hey, listen. I, I, the abyss is fun, you know? He's gone. But. Oh, ew. Oh. Terminal velocity ceases, and you feel a something, a mass, a growth torn out of you. You and the princess look at each other for a short moment. <laughs> What is happening? Oh, she's gonna be taken now. Awesome. But you don't answer her before she's gone, and you feel a resistance underneath your feet once more. Memory returns. She's gone? Where did she go? I think we're gonna go she to the mirror, buddy. Where's that mirror again? Why is it here? Why now? Don't worry about it. Of course you're scared. This is the end for you, but it's not the end for me. Oh my god. It's going to be okay. Just trust me. We've been here before and you always get scared. Oh man. But it feels so bad. Like looking into it right now is going to be the end of everything. It's going to do something to us. I can feel it. Oh. Uh, I'll see you on the other side. It's gonna be okay. Okay. If you say so. Woo! We'll trust you. So, this is all going to work out? Yeah, it'll be fine. Whatever makes you happy. Aw, oh, man. Thanks, man. That's why you're the best. Alright, let's wipe that mirror. You approach the mirror. Gaze into your reflection. Silence as you reach forward. They're gone once again. The mirror always makes them leave. We need to see what's in it. Oh, the decay. You've withered. Oh, I've... Oh. You've withered. Oh, it usually says we've grown. You find yourself in the long quiet once again. Proceed to the cabin. You are at the cabin. Yeah, that, that's my favorite cabin right there. <laughs> or approach her. <laughs> oh. Only in the growing chorus of contradiction. A mass contradiction? of tides ebbing and flowing all at once in more directions than my attention can bear to hold. To look at any one is to shift them all into something new. And to look away is to reshape them yet again. Changing, and yet 
the rest of me is still the same. You can't be a contradiction. Contradictions don't exist. And yet my waters contradiction my streets bustle. There are no words that can describe me into non-existence. There is no logic that can bind my multitudes. I am everything that you have known me to be, but I am also none of it. Ooh. I don't want to go back anymore. I just want to stay here forever if I have to. What do you want me to bring you next time? Gifts aren't what someone tells you to bring them. Do not worry. There are no wrong answers. And every perspective illuminates my shadows and okay. shares new secrets. You know that at the end of this, once you're finished, I'm going to kill you, right? Oh! Do you know what happens to the worlds we leave behind? My perspectives are shadowed. You have seen what I have seen. Just as I have seen what you have seen. Okay. The angles of my vantage do not offer me hidden truths. And my attention is turned inward. Except when you are here with me. I don't know if I want to attack her or destroy my body or any of that yet. Perhaps this will change when our work is done. Should I do one more? Go back once more? And then decide my fate? I will be here. When it is time for Let's us do to one more. Oh. Everything goes dark and you die. A seething vessel. Bring the wraith to her. You're on a path oh. in the woods. I think I could skip all this because we've done all this before. What kind of... Viva la revolucion. Okay, thanks for telling me what to do. It's all part of the job. Thanks, bub. You make your way up the short. Yeah, we've done all this. Let's get to the some new stuff. The cabin is almost empty. All right, do we want to have a blade run or just let's just pop in there run? Well, let's just pop in there. Door to the basement creaks open. Uh, ooh, let's lie to her and say I'm here to save Wait, you. Really? You're here to rescue me? I, I was trying to be a liar to her. To let's her. I see. You're trying to get her to lower her guard. See? It's genius. It's I'm a, a genius. But it might work. Nothing bad ever happens inside a cabin in the woods. Come downstairs. I want to see the face of my rescuer. Let's go. Anything for you, Boo Boo Bear? You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's that she's beautiful. Yeah, we've done How that. could someone like this be a threat to anyone? Hi, I can't believe you're here. I've been waiting for something like this to happen forever. I hope you brought something to deal with these chains. Oh, girl, I forgot the knife. You were lying when you said you were here to rescue her, but... Regardless of your intentions, breaking her out of those chains would be a big mistake. Don't even try it. Okay. Let's talk about it. Okay. Let's have, a, just, let's have a chat. Let's chat, girly. Hi. Sorry, but I just can't trust you. This doesn't have a dozen worth of words. Retrieve the blade. I'm going to keep you locked away down here, at least for a little bit. We can get to know each other better. I'll decide what to do. Go back upstairs and retrieve the blade without saying another word. I can't believe they've been keeping you like this. Examine the chains. I'm going to get you out of WB at this. Yeah, let's just go. I'm sorry, but I just can't trust you. Thank you. You turn back to the stairs, intent on retrieving the blade in the cabin. So, what? You're going to try and kill me? Uh-oh. No. Confess, I promise you. Uh-oh. Go ahead. 
Run along and get whatever you're planning to get. Oh. But you'd better hope that I oh. don't slip these chains before you make it back down here. Okay. Slip these chains? She can't, right? She needed our help to get out of here. But do you hear the conviction in her voice? Uh -oh. I don't think she's bluffing. She has to be bluffing, but... You sure? Hurry. <laughs> but hurry. You rush up to the first floor, grabbing the blade, both right, yours and the world's only possible salvation. Okay. If we're sure about this decision, I'll support it. Yeah. I suppose we have a world to save after Let's all. Save the world, voice of the hero. I'm sure it'll go great. You slowly creep uh -oh. down the basement stairs. It's quiet. Uh oh. Did she get out? When the princess had only a moment ago, there's oh, only no. a severed arm, its cooling flesh still chained to the wall. Oh and dear. she is nowhere to be seen. Is it just me? Or did this room get a lot bigger? Oh yeah, it did get bigger, didn't it? I think we got off to a wrong foot. How about we start over? She's lost an arm. I'm locking her down there and letting her bleed out. Or let's finish this. Clean. Oh, you cow. <laughs> no, I don't think we can. Oh, shame. Why don't you come closer? Oh. I have something to show mm. you. Yeah, bye. This is a dangerous play. Who's to say she'll actually succumb to her wounds? Yeah. She doesn't have a weapon, and she's missing an arm. You can finish this right here, right now. Uh, uh, lock her. Tell you what, I'll even stay here for a while to make sure she's dead. All right, let's Your finish eyes it. Eyes dart to the corners of the room. Is she on the ceiling? You don't see her. I can't see the ceiling. Is she like hanging from the ceiling or crawling on it or something? Where is she? Ooh, close the door. You close the door behind you. Almost magically, its locks immediately click into place. Ooh. Maybe they'll open if you finish the job. Maybe. Um, investigate the arm. You step forward to investigate the severed limb. A trail of blood leads from its jagged stump into a dark corner of the basement. It's like a choose your own adventure. And then you hear the quiet patter of feet oh. against the floor, and there's suddenly a weight on your shoulders. The princess tears oh. into you. Well, that was a mistake. Her ah. teeth and claws are unnaturally sharp, ripping into your shoulders, digging into your throat. You fall to awesome. the ground, the princess eagerly tearing at your flesh. I think we made a mistake. Her ferocity overwhelms you, and as the princess rends flesh from bone, mm. your limp fingers Yummy lose face. their grip on the slips from your hand your one last means of defense lying useless beside you awesome of your cooling blood i suppose you just lacked the will to fight back yeah this is the end isn't it i'm afraid it is awesome you shouldn't have let that fear creep into your heart you had the upper hand and now look at oh me. it's all because i had a little moment of cowardice Everything goes dark, and you die. Awesome. Chapter two, the beast. Let's go. You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. Yeah. You're here to slay her. Let's go. If you I don't, slay. it will be the end of the world. Yeah. I think the end of the world's already here, bub. I think this is it. This feels very purgatory. Uh, yeah, let's just... She's gonna again. kill me again. People don't die twice. You haven't even met the princess, and I hardly think she'd be capable okay. of killing someone as skilled and courageous as yourself. Aw, are you hitting on me? If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. If he doesn't remember... Oh, I voice the hunted. Then something else must have trapped us here. You're not trapped here. Nobody's forcing you to do anything. Though the only sensible thing for you to do right now is march up to that cabin and slay the princess. Uh-huh. 
Yeah, right. A warning before you go any further. Mm -hmm. She will lie, she will cheat, and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Mm -hmm. Don't believe a word she says. Sure. Does a cat lie to a cornered mouse when it plays with its freedom? Or is it just acting out its nature? Okay, buddy. I don't see why that matters. A lie's a lie, and if anything, a she's the one who's a lie is a lie. She could have gotten out of there whenever she wanted to. We should trust nothing that she tells us, only what we hear and smell. That's a very roundabout way of saying that you should listen to me and take this seriously. Or very Maybe. serious. Alright, let's go check her out. Let's see how messed up she is now. What's this cabin look like? Where's the mirror? The interior there it is. of the cabin is ruinous and dilapidated. It feels like no one has lived here for a long time. Wind rushing in through cracks and holes in the wooden walls. The only furniture of note is a termite-eaten table with a pristine blade perched on its edge. Let's take the knife. The blade is your implant. Yeah. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Let's get the Walk mirror up first. Walk the wall next to the basement door. It's a wall. <laughs> <laughs> isn't much to see here. What are you talking about? This isn't a wall. It's a mirror. Or at least it'll be a mirror once we wipe off that layer of grime. Yeah. You there. reach forward and rub your hand against the cabin wall. I hope you know how ridiculous you look right now. Okay. But there was a mirror a second ago. And now it's gone. Yeah, let's take the blade. You take the blade from the table. It will be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. All right, into the basement we go. Let's stab her. The door to the basement. Ooh, yeah, open, that's pretty. Revealing what's left of an old wooden staircase. It's still sturdy enough that you can make your way down in one piece, though you'll have to be mindful of holes. The air seeping up from below is oddly warm and wet, as if you're descending into a jungle. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. She growls up the stairs. Uh-oh. I can smell you. Let's get her. She sounds almost feral, impatient, or maybe eager. You carefully make your way down the stairs. The last step gives way to the Ooh, damp earth. It's like a floors, jungle. That's pit. funny. The walls are obscured by an impenetrable darkness, giving the illusion that the room might stretch on forever. You brush against the wide leaves of plants that surround you on all sides, seemingly the only living things that occupy this strange underground wilderness. It looks like a tail. Is she like an animal? The jungle is pressing in on us, hiding her from view. She could be anywhere. Oh yeah, that's you so her. You see only a yep. of the princess before she scurries away oh into the gosh. underbrush dragging her heavy chain behind her. Remember, she's just a princess. Yeah, yeah, just a normal princess. She's certainly not just a princess. You're not helping. It doesn't matter what she is. It only matters what she does. Her shining eyes appear oh, between the leaves, oh. staring hungrily at you from the darkness. Hi, girlies. I can hear your heart pounding from the bottom of the stairs, fledgling. Hi. You're right to be terrified. No, I'm not scared. No. I'm so much more than you. And a little splinter clutched in trembling hands won't save you from me. Oh, I can certainly try. A shiver rushes up your spine and pulls you upright. The air's shifting. She's getting ready to pounce. Move now. You're about to attack me, aren't there. you? I can There's see right through. Oh my god! Princess lunges from the shadows. Oh my her god! Her unhinged and dripping, her eyes fierce and full of hunger. She is too quick to outrun, too nimble to outmaneuver, too determined to overpower. This is her domain. You are devoured. I guess that's it then, isn't it? Unfortunately for you, no, this isn't it. Ooh. You are in a dark, Whoa. caustic. Oh my place. god. A thick, 
fibrous she lining ate constricts us. around you, its slick surface impossible to grip. Your hands scrabbling uselessly at your surroundings as they compress in on you. Your lungs can barely expand in such a tiny space. Not that the humid, finite air grants you more than a few shallow breaths at a time. Uh, what is ableism? I'm really just curious. What is it? Um, it's like, uh, how do I explain ableism? It's, it's the discrimination against, uh, people with disabilities. You spoke when you needed to act. The liquid pooling beneath you starts to seep into your skin. You itch, then sting, then burn as the acid begins its slow work. Oh, God. When I killed you, I tried to leave this place, but it wouldn't let me. You belong down there, it screamed at me. The world is better off without you in it. The flesh around you rumbles as the princess begins to move, her thundering footfalls twisting you helplessly about. Oh my god. Your skin protests as the corrosive liquid sloshes around you, but there will be no respite for you in sight. The burning grows stronger, and you can feel layers of you being peeled away. But you, you don't belong down here. You came from somewhere else. You came from out there, so I consumed your dead heart, and I carried awesome. it in my throat, and I draped what was left of you on I'm my right. back, and I threw myself against that door. She stops, her muscles tensing around you, and through the muffling layers of her flesh, you hear the whine of straining metal. And with a pop, she lurches forward, your body lurching right along with her. Her chains. She's loose. But even then, it denied me freedom. You cannot fool me by draping yourself in decay. I know your true nature, and it is suffering. Okay. Gravity pulls at you as you're hefted upwards. Girly. The distant creaking of ancient wooden steps barely audible over the thudding of the princess's heart. Ooh. And then it was gone. And I was here. A new enclosure. A nicer cage. But still a prison. I learn from my wounds. You're alive now. We can leave together. Awesome. This is like the complete opposite of what happened last last uh, last world. Does that work? Could she free herself if we're alive? Anyway? <laughs> it's so this time. I you really need me to give you a definitive answer for you to understand that the situation is grim. Stop her. Don't we have the Do knife? Something. It's yeah. I know we have the knife. It doesn't show up on stream, but the cursor has the knife in it. You still have that steel claw. Tear through her before we are her. Yeah. Survive. Or we could use it to make this quick for ourselves. No. What? You're... If she needs us in order to leave, we could at least deny her that. Mm. That is a bad thing to do. Yeah. I have my steel claw. Dig with the steel claw. Yeah. Though you have little oh, room, ew. you use what strength you can muster to drive the blade forward into the thick walls of tissue Oh, that's disgusting. You. I can feel you tearing through me, but are you sick enough for it to matter? That's valid. Your body is violently jostled. Oh my god. Disruption causing burning skin to slop from raw muscle, and you hear what you can only assume is the princess pulling against the door to the cabin. The cage is still locked. Oh, we locked the door. Yeah, let's just keep going. You slice again, deeper, rooting let's not talk, let's just dig. the tip of your blade, until at last it finds her beating Oh, heart. get it. Oh my God. Banging as the princess desperately throws everything at the cabin door. Your flesh screams as your reddened, spongy body is hit with fresh waves of blistering acid. You can't hold me forever. You could have asked me before swallowing me alive. Slay the princess! Let's go! 
Though your body is dissolving, eroding into unrecognizable shapes, your will drives it forward. You have a target, and you will strike it. We're too late, aren't we? Shut up! This isn't survival. This is spike. Shut up! No, it's something better. Strike the heart it's from the belly of the noble beast. Destiny. Let's Your go! functioning arm lashes out, stabbing up towards the princess's heart. So you found a way to kill me. Then we'll die together. And I will see you again soon. With those prophetic words, you do not draw another breath. Your body tangled and melting in the cooling folds of the princess's flesh. Everything goes dark. And you die. Love it. But at least you've saved the world. Yeah. I hope. You know. Chapter three. Oh, it's still going. The wild. Let's do this. Oh. We are a path in the woods. We have no beginning. And we have no end. Whoa. But something cold and unnatural sits watching us from just beyond our edge. His gaze pushes against this our is borders, weird. curling them in on themselves, preventing them from stretching to the places they need to reach. No, 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 that's all wrong. You're not a path in the woods, you're on a path in the woods. Who's even saying that? Whoa. That's not, that's not the princess, is it? Oh no. How many times have you been here? I think this is our third? For this one, yeah. That's bad. The Hinduism That's connection very, to very nature. very bad. End. It wasn't even supposed to reach two. If you're at three, well, no wonder things aren't the way they're supposed to be. Uh, let's get our facts straight. What happened last time? What could you have possibly done for things to be like this? The thing that sits beyond our edge speaks his logic into us. He tries to grasp at things that cannot be grasped. He tries to stare with wide pupils at that which can only be held from the corner of the eye or with a passing glance. Beautiful. Shut up. The rest of you talk. What happened? What did you do? Can she hear us if we talk? I can hear oh. everything, little There's your answer. But you don't have to be afraid of me. There's no place where you end and I begin. Nothing can hurt you here. Not anymore. Oh. I like that. I don't feel so small anymore when you put it like that. That's because you aren't small, even if you act that way. We're both so much more together than we were apart. And we can be so much more still, vast, unfathomable. You're not mad at us for stabbing you in the heart, are you? No. Are you mad at me for swallowing you whole? Really? It all seems so petty right now. She ate you. And now you're convinced that you're stuck together. What a mess. He doesn't understand. We aren't convinced of anything. And we aren't stuck together. We're one. This is how we're supposed to be. Can't you feel it? Mm -hmm. uh, do nothing. You can't just pass it <laughs> yeah, just... forever. Not with her. I didn't spoil it, it since you probably didn't know it's alright. No, yeah, you're good. <laughs> the princess ate you last time. Stop <laughs> passively vibing with a literal predator and remember that your enemies remember what she's done to you and how much. It hurt. We can't oh. go back to that. We can't go back to the fear and the hunger and the pain. Not after being oh something as beautiful as this. 
Doesn't all that conflict feel so far away right now? So petty? We've been posed against each other by something that understands the strength of our unity. Huh. I can feel a thumping. Oh. Uh. A heartbeat. Like a distant terror that keeps getting louder the more we pay attention. Please, stop. If you let it in, we'll fall apart. It's so interesting. I think we should hear out whatever it is that's trying to be heard. I like to take all options into account before making any big decisions, and what's the harm in just listening? I love rules. Gaze at the terror in your heart, bury it now before it's too late. Oh. Yeah, sure. Let's gaze. Don't make us remember how I was. Well, maybe you shouldn't have been like that. Hmm? And just like that, you start to fall apart. Awesome. I can remember it now. I didn't like being eaten. <laughs> yeah. I've forgotten how much it burned. And the air was so hard to breathe. She didn't care. Yeah. She didn't care at all. Make her face her past. All of that digging with the knife and we didn't even get to win that was hard work yeah we wanted to win and what's the point yeah of voice of the opportunities we're not the one in charge of that hole as you remember the terror and pain you felt at the hands of the princess you start to remember something else too you remember that you are a distinct being with a finite form and a mortal body you can feel it there is a shifting of the space around you, the infinitesimal movement of your molecules rearranging back into the shape of what you're meant to be. Mm. No, I devoured you. I won. I put things back the way Girl. they were supposed to be. Some oh. division, when so oh, tears can, can never, never be, truly mended. be mended. A cavernous Whoa. gash rips across whatever it was you thought you were. Hey! A cabin comes My cabin! The trees. It approaches. Awesome. And it swallows your body whole. Awesome. I love when I get eaten by a cabin. And then you find oh, yourself there she is. laid in hand exactly where you need to be. At the center of it all is the princess. Mm. A wooden and fleshy heart beating with an unbroken rhythm. You're filled with a sense of purpose. There she is. Strike at her. End this once and for all. I feel empty, don't you? Oh, you're not empty. I see your heart. It's right there. I feel safe. She isn't dangerous anymore. Oh. We could leave her. We could both leave. Well, this should be easy. <laughs> if you're sure about it. I mean, what's the point of being king of the hill if there's no one around to be better than? Mm. We'd just be sitting on a hill. Do we have to do this? You have to. You know mm. you have to. It's the name of the game. Ooh, I can cut her free. I never wanted to kill you, not really, but we can't be the same thing as each other. I had to put an end to whatever happened to us. Cut. Or slay the princess. Let's cut her free. This little <laughs> if you think I'm going to let you free her, you have another thing coming. And that other thing is have to wait and find out when it happens. Ignore him. His words only confuse us. Just do it. He's weak. Thinks he can boss us around when he doesn't have any authority. We're clearly the ones with authority around here. So we can do whatever we like. You're tired, aren't you? No, I'm not. I'm... Fine. Whatever. Cut the princess down from the that bind her. I hope you're mm. happy. Good luck getting her out of here. Yeah, what? Yeah, that's valid. <laughs> I didn't think you would do that. After well, everything. I'm just a great guy. Ignore what happened in the last world. I, I was just going through a phase. It's so cold without you. But you don't get the chance to respond. 
Nor will you ever. It's time to leave. Memory returns. Ah! She's gone. Where does she go? Should we go? Is that mirror? Yeah, let's just go. You approach the mirror. This, this doesn't feel right. It feels different. Final. The thing reeks of death. If they think it's bad, I'm with them. Voices feel small, distant as you approach. Gaze into your reflection. Silence as you reach forward. They're gone, and once again, the mirror always makes them leave, but you need to see what's in it. The remains. You've unraveled. Oh, you've unraveled. You find yourself in the long quiet once again. You are at the cabin. Approach her. There's a world beyond the endless walls of the long quiet. I am curious to see what it means for us to know it. Which Pokemon game? Um, uh, not sure yet. Maybe Emerald? When, I, when you send me back, I'm not alone. There are voices that speak to me. Some of them are me, but one of them is something else. I call him the narrator, and he wants me to kill you. Do you have a narrator? Have the vessels had one? No. Their minds are empty, existing, but constantly shifting into something new. Do you think your narrator lives in the spaces beyond? Oh. It's just all he does. What about uranium? You don't need an emulator plant? Maybe. I'll figure that out. He does. I don't know why, but I know this for a fact. I am on the cusp of my awakening. Perhaps you are on the cusp of yours. Right. I think I want to attack her. Your will cuts across the entity in front of you, but nothing happens. Dang it! My roots burrow in an ocean Dang it. beyond your sight. We cannot harm each other as we are now. No. So close. Fine. Destroy my body! You raise your will to end your life, but as it buries into the space your body should be, you feel nothing at all. Dang it! One of the many hands in front of you reaches forward and gently plucks the instrument from your hands. There's nowhere for you to be but here. Okay. If this is the last stage before your completion, then I'm not going back. I'm just going to stay here forever if we I have to. We have already chosen to walk along this path, and we both know you will see it to I completion. recommend thinking about it faster, it's still need 4,000 more points too. But it also ends in four hours, or five hours. <laughs> I don't think I'm hitting it. <laughs> and also I'm going to do it at my own pace. Because I have other series going right now. Wait forever. You are as I am now. And forever is a long time to remain undone. I am not you. But I know that I would return before forever was finished. Uh huh. What textures will you leave for yourself to occupy forever? Will you place the images of you and I into a box for safekeeping? If you close that box, will you become another you in another world? An imaginary pattern repeating itself. What kind of series? Can no longer bear the weight of its hand drawn cage. Uh, right now I'm uh, playing through all the uh, uh, Ace Attorney games. You'll always come back to the box because you'll always want to know what it means to be you. 
I will be here waiting by your side until you're ready to return to mine. Oh. <laughs> she closed my game. <laughs> well, uh... What a way, uh, what a comeback. What a comeback stream. Oh, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'm gonna send you all love to Ken's. Ken's is live. Go send them some love. Uh. <laughs> uh. Thank you guys so much for, uh, tuning in. I'm so happy to be back after all those issues. I'm so glad everything's fixed now. <laughs> the villain closing the game itself is a brilliant way to end stream. <laughs> it's, it's funny, yeah, it's funny. I'll send you guys off. Thank you guys for showing up. It's been fun. Catch you later. Say hi to Ken's. Bye-bye.